let them search for you, yeah I'ma hold it down to the sun up You know I be steady on my grind to the sun up Out of all the ones before me know I was the best thing I'ma rip your heart out, that's what you call chest pain Hello? What's and, going on, Nymph Shell? And right Hi. now, we, we got the beautiful, very talented, she holding South Florida down. Yeah. You know, uh, every single time I see this young lady, she got that guitar in her hand. Yes, we got, say it for us, Junior, who we got? I, I say Nymph Shell, Brown. You Nymph know what Shell. It is. Are we saying it right? Are we saying it right? Yes, yes, yes we're saying it right. <laughs> okay, we put some respect on the name. That's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Okay. First of all, thank you for joining us tonight. I know it's midnight over there, and, and um, I was so glad when you told me, you know what, midnight, yo, it's right on my alley. Let's, that's fine. Let's do it. You know, once yo, again, I appreciate it. I'll be up. Hey, listen. I, I see you be working. I'm so glad you showed, I'm so, so glad you showed your, you know, your digital audio workstation because you got a photo on May the 12th where you in the kitchen with the sugar and the rice <laughs> and the speakers are right next to the plates, and I'm like, that's a real independent artist. So I, I appreciate yes. that. That's good. You know, listen, I learned a long time ago, you don't need to, to be, to have a big studio setting. Honestly, you know, as long as you, the person behind the computer knows what they're doing, mm -hmm. you can record anywhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate that. That's right. So as far as recording anywhere, and like Francis said, the guitar, how long have you been playing the guitar? Um, I want to say, like, Six years. I say six years. Okay. So you like almost I in high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now now what made you want to pick up the guitar out of all the musical instruments that you could play? Um, I wanted to pick it up because i it was something I've always wanted to to learn how to play. And yeah. I was always I like string instruments. Okay. I was um I played the violin in middle school and throughout high school. So um the guitar really interested me because it had like it was one of those instruments where you could play any song. I'm sure you can play any song on any instrument, but it just like it stood out to me because I could actually perform with it right. and sing it as well. So I right, just right. I thought it was cool, you know? When that's I cool, see people cool. playing it, I thought it was so cool. So I picked it up. So so as far as the guitar, I know we'll move on, but I'm really interested in independent artists that kind of create their own music and their own styles, basically, from mm -hmm. the guitar. Do you ever create riffs and melodies that you say, you know what, I want to go ahead and produce this or recreate these type of sounds? Yeah, I do a lot of, I mean, I learn how to play different songs and I do covers and stuff like that. But I also do that with my, my own music as well. Okay. So I'll just, you know, just catch a vibe and just play something until I like it and then I'll record it. Okay. Now, That's what now I love that. Now you you mentioned covers and doing covers. Now I've you know been been you know peeping out some of your live things that you've done with Rock the Bells with LL. I saw yeah. you went into the room with with Ayana Lamise. Um, oh yeah. What, yeah, that was dope. I was one of them people in there like, yo, encore! You were in there? <laughs> I was in there. I was in there that night. See, you, yeah. you don't know you it don't know who's late. watching you. You don't know who's watching you. And it I was told late too. It, it was, was like really, three, four in the morning. Yes. It was like three or four in the morning. And I told For me you, at least. Yeah. It, it was it was like it was like, yeah, it was probably like one or two o'clock over here. Um, mm -hmm. and I told this man, like, I saw you before that, and I was like, yo, she's dope. But yeah. my thing was I didn't know if anyone had caught wind of you yet. So when I saw you do the LL and I saw you do Ayana, I said, Oh, here she comes. Uh, were you a little know. starstruck? Were you a little starstruck? You know, with, you know, with uh, uh, especially Nia Lamise, she has such a huge following right now. And then a legend like LL. Um, I don't want to say starstruck, like to the point where like I freeze up or anything. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a big fan, like you know, fangirling. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've done it so many times. Like when I perform on live, I perform so many times. Like, it doesn't really get to me. It's like I feel like I'm just talking to another person. You know what I mean? Right. 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 I feel like that's. That's how people should be treated in a right, way, yeah. you know? That's like, true. I don't want to just be all on somebody and just, people don't like that. I know, like, you know, the, the famous people, they don't like, they don't like yeah, all Absolutely. That. Yeah, people so, are people. I just and everybody keep it casual, has to be normal and just have a regular conversation. That's what's up. Well, I will say I enjoy your art. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about your single you got here, Need It. How did oh, yes. that song come about? Um, how long of it uh, was the process? Did you start writing it first? Was there a beat first? Talk to us about that. 
to be honest, um, I'll give you a little secret. Um, there was actually no original beat. It was supposed to be just guitar. And um, I remixed it. It was actually a Post Malone song. Okay. The rock star song. I'm not sure if you know that song. Yep. Yep. Yeah, for and, sure. Yeah. And I just uh, played on the, on the guitar a little differently. And then I just added my own words to it. So it became its own little song. So I posted this, um, this video of me playing it just guitar only. And then a producer took my video and made a beat out of it and sent it to me. And I was really <laughs> rocking with it. I was rocking. Right. It was never supposed to be a beat, you know? So they sent wow. it to me and I liked it. So um, it turned out being having a beat and I released it. Wow. Just that's, like crazy. That. that's a crazy story. That is that's a crazy, crazy story. Now, I, I, I paid attention to your music, and I want to ask you, are you really personal with trying to put your music out? Because there's not a ton of singles that you have right now. And I, it no, looks like I you kind of put things out sporadically. Or are you just very careful how you put your music out? What's your, what's your process of releasing, you know, your creations? I'm very careful with what I put out. You know, um, I'm very picky as well. And I overthink. I overthink sometimes. Just like, you know, any artist who wants to showcase their work um they're very protective yeah uh their work and they want to put out the best of the best so i do i don't put out a lot of music back to back to back but i'm trying to um get into that i'm trying to be more active with releasing stuff but at the moment i'm focused on um just creating something completely new something people have never really heard of from me and um, i'm working on a project right now actually so okay that's what i'm doing i want to have everything just like set up before i really announce and just go all out with it um so uh i don't really have a, I, I have i have a single planned out to release soon i just haven't like posted about it or anything but i like to have everything prepared and ready you know i don't want to just do anything last minute so i want to by the time the single oh sorry <laughs> by the time the okay low battery <laughs> No battery notification came on. But by the time that single is ready to be released, I'm already on to the next thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so how many songs, like, how how many songs do you have in your arsenal right now that that you just haven't, you know, given everybody a taste for yet? Like, do you have like 12 songs stashed away and you're kind of releasing, you know, a few at a time or are you starting I all over? I can't tell you how many I have stashed away. It's a, it's a decent amount. Okay. But I, 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 you know, I record and just kind of like let it sit in my computer, which is a bad habit. But <laughs> like I said, right now I'm trying to work on something fresh, something new, yeah. um, something for, made from scratch. Yeah. So that's, uh, I feel like it's more authentic like that instead okay. of just so at, having the beat already made and writing to it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. So um, as an artist, right, what would you say are some hurdles that you face right now? You're working on new material. Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're about to put it out. You know, you mentioned, you know, um, a little bit of like the independent side of things. Um, talk to us a little bit about some of your day-to-day -day hurdles you face. COVID-19 too. That's a hard as well, you know. You said I'm 19? No, COVID-19. That's also okay. an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> it, um, it was, but I feel like COVID was definitely a, like a blessing in disguise because um, I thought everything would be over and, you know, things wouldn't be, really be moving like that. But I took advantage of it by focusing on the lives and really building um, supporters and the fan base through that. And the the lives really helped me with that because um, probably in March, okay, March is when everything really closed down in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same here. No, so, I don't know. No, April. April. April is when everything really closed down in Florida. So the whole month of April and part of May, um, I couldn't really do anything with my music um, so I, and with work too, so I was stuck at home. Um, and I used that advantage by being really active on social media and I would go live a lot with all these different people and eventually it became like a routine, like a habit. Um, and I do it, I try to do it nightly, but I don't, I've kind of like laid back on it, but I've, it's definitely grown my fan base so much um, about, Around April, I probably had like 17, 16K, and now I'm at like 31. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Just within like a month or two span, just by doing lives only, you know? Right, 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 yeah. Right. Um, and as far as the music, um, it hasn't really, I record at home. 
yeah. I have my own stuff at home, but I like to travel too. Right now I'm in North Carolina, okay. but I live in Florida. Okay. Um, but I do record it at home as well, so it's not North too challenging. In the house. Hmm? Yeah, so North Carolina. Carolina. I know it's in the house. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I come here just to work with this producer that I'm working with right now, mm-hmm. currently um, for my project. So, is there a date? Is there a title? What What's the expectancy for this project that you're working on? I don't have an initial date or title. I'm really just building a catalog to choose from. All right. Um, but I'm focusing on this single right now that I'm getting ready to push. So while I'm pushing that single, I should be finishing up my project and getting ready to, you know, shoot some videos for the project as well. I already shot a video for this single, so everything is really tucked away. I'm just uh, trying, trying to get a cover art for it. Okay. Before I can post it, I can't really post without a cover art, you know? I, yeah, I got you. I got you. I do want to, I do want to get a little personal with this song, No Trust. Who is that about specifically? Because whoever it is, they did something to you and you're not playing. You got a gun in the video. <laughs> <laughs> like, who are you about to shoot and you dress in some Victoria's Secret? Like, Man, I thought we were homies. In this No Trust video. <laughs> and is he? Man. Um, I don't really want to say it's about anybody, but it's more like I do, you know, growing and um, going through relationships and stuff like that. Not in anybody in specific, but just people as well. Friends, family, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Um, Peers, you end up, you know, people are not always honest and people are not always truthful. So my trust isn't, you know, the best. So I I wrote it off that. um, And I got the concept from a different video that I saw. So Okay. That's, that's how you see the the hall. Man, it, you know what? It, it, it reminded me of um, is it Mariah the Scientist? It reminded me of that with her music video. Remember that Francois Mariah the I've Scientist? Yeah. Video. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. Well, with the lingerie and she's got yes. a gun. Yes. To shoot this dude. So yes. It all, me of all I all I know now is I cannot make Nemshell or Tink mad because them sisters <laughs> don't play. Oh my gosh. They show you what they're capable of. Man. Yeah. They will pull up on you like, what's up? <laughs> okay, I'm glad you know. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Come, Come correct. But yeah. um, okay. I want to also know, um, since you got so much soul and I enjoy listening to your music, who are some mm-hmm. of the people who influence you over time? Influence me as, as far as like, like people as music. personally or, yeah. or oh, in the industry? Oh. Yeah, um, I would I would say you know personally, uh, part A of the question, and then musically. Okay, personally, I'd say um, my mom is a really good supporter of my music, and and she really like you know is just very supportive and and is down for whatever I have to um, what whatever really involves my music as long as it's you know not nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's go. But um, in the music industry. I would really honestly say um, I really like Janae Aiko as well as um, Tink. Tink is a very, I love Tink. She's so dope. She it's raps. It's funny she's I mentioned her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny that you mentioned her because she's definitely <laughs> one of the people I, I used to listen to so much yeah, back in high I love school. Tink too. Tink is dope. Yeah, she's dope. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I got a question on the, uh, you had a collab. Is the artist called Vibes? Yes. Okay, I love that song. So what was that like? How did that connection happen? Um, it's with this this uh artist named Greatness. Um it's crazy how we met. Um that wasn't the day that we met the when we recorded the song though. But we knew each other, you know, before then, but we followed each other only on Instagram. Right. We knew of each other only online. We never met in person. But one day um I had to do an interview down in uh Broward County in Fort Lauderdale. And I forgot my guitar. That was the main reason for the interview. I forgot it at home, which is a two hour drive from home. Mm-hmm. So oh, I called him up and I was like, hey, can I borrow your guitar? Mind you, I've never met him. Wow. We don't know each other. <laughs> we don't know each other. I just know that he plays the guitar. So I was like, hey, can I please borrow your guitar for this interview? I would have been like, back hell no. Nah. Like <laughs> oh, you would have said no. <laughs> me. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> He trusted me and, and he was he gave me his address and I pulled up and got the guitar and wow. I was shook because you know that's a lot of trust for somebody you you never met before. Yeah. Um but from then on, you know, 
after I brought it back, we had a conversation and we got to actually know each other and we just became friends right then and there. I'm kind of glad I forgot my guitar because that's how we we built, that's how we met. But as far as the vibes record, it was meant to be, yes, it was meant to happen. Um, As far as the the vibes record, um, I was coming from a video shoot and he was like, hey, pull up to the studio. It was like probably one in the morning. Mm-hmm. He was like, pull up to the studio. I was like, okay, bet. I'll pull up to the studio. And then we were just playing in the lobby of the studio. He had no session. I had no session. We were literally just sitting in the lobby. And we just, I just started playing. We would go back and forth, just catch a vibe. And then the producer next to him, I didn't know who he was. Um, I never met him. He just sat there and he was nodding his head the whole time, like catching a whole vibe to us, just going back and forth. Yeah. So he, he was like, he was like, y'all, y'all have a really good, you know, cadence together like our voices go together yeah. and i was like what's up you trying to you trying to record something you trying to <laughs> do something right now they're like let's go and he was like let's do it so by the time we started recording something it was about three four in the morning and we didn't finish till about like five or six wow um, so we we wrote it right there on the spot and that's where i met the producer who made the beat as well okay. so really things just kind of just happen it's not really planned that's are dope. you making your own instrumentals or are you going to other producers to, to create for you? Um, it depends. Like sometimes um, I'll use my guitar in the song and some songs I just won't use it at all. You know, I don't want to just, I don't want to just put my guitar in every song. I, I feel like that would make songs sound very similar. Yeah. And I want every, every record to sound, to have its own sound. So some songs I'll, I'll use the guitar and I'll try to do my own instrumental and probably get a producer to add some 808s and stuff like that, because I don't know how to do none of that. I um, think as a, as a fan of you, if you had a, you know, a catalog of, say, three albums, if you had an acoustic song on each one of those albums that was different, I think that would be really great. Because, an acoustic you know, that, version of every song? An acoustic version of a song to just show that side of you, because, mm-hmm. you know, that's how people get to really... You know, when they fall in love with artists, it's about what are they talking about? You know, how do you see yourself with that artist? Do you relate to that artist? And I think you being able to do that is a little different than, you know, some of these artists that, you know, no disrespect that we interview. You know, a lot of mm-hmm. them are just going straight to, you know, like a like a computer set, you know, sound. But, you know, you have uh, a lot of enchantable things that you can do. I think that's, you know, should be rewarded. Oh, for sure, definitely. Um, I I don't know about doing an acoustic version of every song, though. I feel like that would be too much. No, one but I song. Definitely one pick song. And choose. I definitely pick and choose different songs here and there and be like, okay, that would sound cool on the guitar. Or if it was originally on the guitar, I would just make it more like intimate without like a producer. You know what I mean? Right. right. Just me, like just the raw guitar and the vocals. Yeah, the true acoustic on YouTube, I like that one. That's, that was really good, too. Yeah, for Thank sure. You. Yeah, for sure. Now I see you're, you're a really talented lady apart from the music. Talk to me a little bit about Laced by Nim. <laughs> 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 we do some research hey, y'all, over y'all here. Did y'all research. Y'all did we y'all do y'all research. research before you talk to me. <laughs> oh, oh my we gotta goodness. come correct. <laughs> okay, and you and you coming correct so far. Um, Laced by Nim is my little side hustle. I work in a salon, so yeah. that I do hair. Yeah. Um, in, in my city and and that's really my little side hustle so I put that in my bio just so people can go to that page and if they want to get their look, done they can definitely look your boy hair. got these twists right now you think you can help a brother out? I don't look, know look. about the twist look. I don't know about it. Look. she said she not doing no twist man. <laughs> I don't know about she not the doing twist, twist. <laughs> how, so how long you been doing hair um about a year Okay. Yeah, That's so awesome. A little okay. over a year. So really, honestly, not that long. I so always did my it. own. You have to pay okay. the bill. That's it. You have to pay the. You have to pay the bills, and especially if you love doing hair as well. I mean, that's great. So you used to do your it's own, and then helped. someone saw someone saw your style, and they they fell in love with it. You said what? Um, you you were saying that you used to do your own hair, and you were going into. Yes, I I know I I've always done my own hair since like for like three years three four years now nice. um and you know people would always ask me where i got my hair done from and i would say me and they would ask me to do it and i would say no because no, no, girl, I never, <laughs> no, I would, listen at first i would always say no because i had never done anybody else's hair before and i didn't want to be i don't want to play in nobody's head 
Right, 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 right. One thing a girl don't like is their hair getting Especially messed up. Especially a sister's hair. You're not about to do that. No, no. So no, I would no. always I'm like, girl, no. you push the tracks all the way back. Right? <laughs> I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to be that girl. Right, right. So I would say, no, you know, I'm not comfortable. You know, like, I haven't done anybody's hair, and I don't want to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I looked into it. I thought about it. And um, a girl said she would be my little guinea pig. So I did it on her, and it came out really, really good. And I posted it, and it went, like, I posted it on Facebook and it just went crazy. Everybody in the city was like, loved it. So after that, it just kind of just went on from there. So I started doing some more here and there. And then eventually it came to the point, I, I was working from home, doing hair from home. Eventually my clientele was just growing at such a, 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 a consistent rate. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I didn't want to do it from home anymore because I didn't like all these strangers knowing where I live. So no, that's right. Found I found a, a shop a salon um, and I, I moved into there so I've been there since since uh, August cool. so August will be a year moving into the salon. Congratulations! Yeah, congrat Thank absolutely you. congratulations. Now Thank COVID nineteen were you working or did you stop working or how did that go? Well, it definitely slowed down so much. I couldn't work at the shop um, the whole month of April and part of May. So um, I had to figure out how I was going to do it. I, I didn't want to work from home either. So I would just pack my bag and go to their house oh. or go to wherever they were. Some people want, didn't want me to come inside. So I would do it in their backyard or in their front yard, in their garage, wherever it was comfortable. But I made sure, you know, I had my necessary items like sanitizing, sanitizing tools and, and a mask and whatever I needed That's to, good. you know, make sure I was making them comfortable enough to let me do their hair, you know, with everything that's going around. Right, right, right. Yeah. So um, with this time, the climate of the world right now, um, I know you mentioned April was the time things just got really hectic with everything and things kind of shut down in Florida. For us here mm -hmm. in, in uh, California, it was March. Talk to me a little bit about the rallies, the protests, everything like that, how it's just impacted you and affected you and um, musically, how has it influenced you? Well, impacted, um, there hasn't really been, well, where I live in Florida, I live in a small city called Vero Beach and there, there have been, you know, small um, protests and stuff like that. Nothing like riots. There hasn't been any riots where mm -hmm. I live, thank goodness. Um, everything was peaceful, you know, during the day, nice and nice and sweet, peaceful. So I didn't really have any anything like anything going on like that. But um, it it did affect, you know, the music. Everything slowed down. I couldn't really drop anything or really post anything music related because I felt it would be like selfish in a way. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I felt like, yeah. you know, while everything was going on, the main focus was what's going on, what's yeah. on the news. You know what I mean? So. Um, I didn't really want to post anything music related or anything about me or what's going on with me. Um, but it has affected me a lot, you know, really opening my eyes on what's really going on and, and how things really, you know, need to turn, have a turning point and really need to change for the better because it's a lot of, you know, crazy things out here that it's sad how nowadays we have to record things in order for them to be noticed I know, yeah. um, and heard. And, you know, I just, you know, I just, it just opened my eyes so much. And it, it's sure. just like, I'm ready for a change yeah. or some type of, some type of turning point. Definitely. You know, Definitely. Everything that's sure. going on. I mean, I do see a change and I mean, I, I do see some type of change, especially with uh, people that are, you know, that are not black or brown, you know, joining mm -hmm. in to support and that, that, you know, we need to see more people coming together, but absolutely. I feel you completely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, um, once again, we want to thank you for your time. Um, no, thank you. Definitely. This, we're, is, we're, this is lit. Yeah, I've never I'm excited. I've only done like one interview, two interviews. What? I've only done like, two interviews ever. So I, I did mention we're in Los Angeles, California. I don't know how often you come out here, but um, we also, you know, have a podcast, which I don't know if you've been able to tune in. And before you go, I was wondering if you could do Luminary Sounds a favor. What's up? Do you, do you have a YouTube? Of course. Definitely, if, when you have the moment in time, I don't know if you're near your computer or not right now, 
subscribe to us on on um youtube it's luminary, luminary sounds. sounds luminary sounds and um whenever you're out in la your family we would love to have you on um yeah. come visit us out yeah, in so la um, whenever you have a new single you're dropping anything you want any type of promo for whatever you're doing just send us a dm to our luminary sound we yeah. always post your music you know this is a family affair like a Nia Lamise, we had her on the show as well. Uh, she came down, she flew out and met us in Los Angeles. So, you know, you know, it's a big family here. So we wanna, we wanna definitely get with the best artists that are, I would say, unheard of because we want the world mm -hmm. to see it. But we're gonna do our very best to get everyone. Yeah, out. we're gonna do the very best, definitely. And, um, you know, um, before we, we head on out of here, you have any questions or comments for us? Um, how did you find me? I'm curious. Okay, so <laughs> that's the that's the question that's, of all questions. So, yeah, questions of all questions. So for me, everyone is different. Everyone has a different answer. Yeah. So so for me, what actually happened was, I was I was actually looking at my learning guitar for dummies book. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, so, why? No, no, yes. no. I'm serious. So yes. yeah, yeah, you're asking me, right? So I was yeah. looking through that book. I always have different ways of how I hear people, and I'm always listening to new music. So what I did was I went on, it was either YouTube or Instagram, and I hashtag guitar. And someone else came up, and then someone said something about Nemshell. And I said, who's this girl? Yeah. So it was, sort of like, it was sort of like somebody led me to you. It wasn't like you directly came up. It was like uh, there was a comment that was made about you that – I got to someone's page because they had. Yeah, I think it was like people. sounds like Nimshell or something like that. They, no, they said something about it. They were like, "I wish I could play like Nimshell." Something about you can play. So I was like, "Okay, who's this person?" Really? Yeah. So then, so then I went on your Instagram and I mm -hmm. saw this was like, this was like some months ago, and I saw that you were playing the you know the guitar, and I said, "She's she's dope. She's good." And then I just was like. I didn't hear anything after that, but then I follow LL. You know, I'm from the East Coast. So mm -hmm. when LL came out with Rock the Bells, I would tune in every single night. And mm -hmm. then you came on. And I said, yo, she looked familiar. And then when ah. I went to your page, I said, yo, that's homegirl. That's homegirl that when I was trying to do my yeah. guitar thing over here yeah. because- um, He called me, he called me about it too, so yeah. yeah. I, I called, I said, yo. <laughs> I said, you know, we, I gotta, we gotta have this girl on the show. And like, yeah. you know, at that point in time, like, you know, we like to have people that have like singles and things like that. Like, so we can kind of push their music. And he, mm -hmm. he was like, yo, you know anything about any music she got? I was like, yo, I don't know. I just know she dope. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so then fast forward, I think that's when I saw you on Anaya. Mm -hmm. and, and like Anaya was almost crying. <laughs> yeah, I, no, was. it was dark. It was so dark. I couldn't see her. I couldn't yeah, see like, her. like, like she was like. Well, all, all I remember was she just was like encore, and like people were just like. I remember people in the chat. I don't know if you saw. They were like, yeah. "We don't want to hear anybody else." And yeah. that's when I just, yes. I, I threw my paper in the air. Like it was late at night. I was like, <laughs> I was like, "Yo, I gotta holler at her and see if like she'll be kind enough to like come through and um, you know." Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we definitely believe in you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Just keep doing definitely. your thing. Don't give up the grind. And it just takes one person that can help, you know, catapult everything that you're working on. So just keep going. That is sure. definitely true. But, yeah. but the thank only you so way much I for having about me on this show. Yeah, go ahead. I said thank you for having me on the show. What were you oh, going to say? Oh, no. I was just going to say, if it wasn't for me trying to make beats, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have found <laughs> yeah. he tried, he tried to learn something. So that's I'm, really I'm what trying I'm trying to learn something. Trying to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, my goodness! Look, uh, that's uh, hilarious. Uh, I'm trying to be the Black Santana. Don't hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just trying. yeah. It can happen. <laughs> it can happen. It can happen. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, anytime. I don't. I'm not often in in Cali. I've only been there once. Mm -hmm. But definitely, whenever I get the chance, I would definitely like to, you know, connect with you guys. Yeah, yeah. For sure. No. So you have like, so you have. You said you have a podcast. So is that like in the studio? Or like, like, how do you go about doing that? We we go to um we go to the small shop LA and it's like a prominent location where a lot of 
uh, celebrities go through the shop, uh, just people on the streets as well. And then mm-hmm. actually we're going to be going there tomorrow for the re grand opening because it got destroyed during the, uh, you know, during the riots and things like that. So oh, wow. it's opening. So we used to shoot there. And I'll and, send you the links. Yeah. Yeah. And we also right. shoot, uh, in the, in the city of Ventura, uh, California, uh, which is a two story studio where they have performers and things like that. So we're up there doing our uh, podcast as well. So we're blessed to have two locations for the people that are in Los Angeles and in, in Ventura. So that's lit. Yeah. 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 Whenever I'm, I'm in Cali, I definitely am going to connect for sure. For and sure. If, even if you can't come to connect Cali, you want to get on to do an interview, talk about whatever's on your mind. You know, we can set that up. As we're well. here for you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah. You guys Thank are lit. You. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for ha- pleasure having you. Everybody, tune in. We're going to be posting this for you guys, all of our viewers. Yeah. Nem Show, thank you for yeah. checking in with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Y'all have a safe night and be safe. No, be safe. It's we crazy will. out here. It is. It's crazy and, in these streets. Get your sanitizer. Make sure you sanitize oh, up. Yeah, yeah. Sanitize up all the time. So Wait, wash your hands. <laughs> that too. <laughs> all right, bye. peace. Bro. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. It's true. It's true.